welcome Ford Motor Company Executive Chairman Bill Ford. Well, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, and welcome to Detroit and the North American International Auto Show. You know, this show is always about seeing old friends and marking new beginnings. And it signals another new year in this competitive and compelling industry. But this year, it actually feels like something more. A new future is dawning for our industry, and a new spirit is moving this city. You know, I've spent my entire life here in Detroit, and I've seen the highs and I've seen the lows. And just 10 years ago, our city, our industry, and our company were fighting to stay alive. But today, Detroit is America's comeback city. There's a renaissance unfolding here, and it's wonderful to be part of it. Our auto industry is healthy and vibrant, and every day we're proving the doubters wrong who said we couldn't compete in the future. No one owns the future. It's open for business, and it's waiting to be created. But I believe Ford is uniquely positioned to shape it. Well, why? Well, we were the original transportation disruptor. Our employees are tough, resilient, and have reinvented our company many times over 114 years. Last month, we announced that we're basing our autonomous and electric vehicle teams in a 110-year-old former factory in Detroit's Cork Town, a neighborhood settled by Irish immigrants who came in search of new opportunities all the way from County Cork, Ireland, just as my family did. Our heritage and our future are intertwined. And Ford was founded on the idea that the freedom of movement is fundamental to human progress. And that remains our guiding principle. And even with our industry in the midst of revolutionary change, Ford will stay absolutely focused on people and helping them improve their lives. And that's why when you get into a Mustang or an F-150, you know it's not only a great vehicle, it's a great experience. The sum total of generations of human ingenuity and hard work, it's what sets Ford apart. <coughs> so today is not only about exciting cars and big ideas, it's also about the passion and the commitment of our people. They invest so much of themselves in their work and the products that they help create. And I hope you'll see this come to life today. Ford is a family company. And we see each generation of Ford people building the future for the next. And that's what gets us going every day. We want to create a better tomorrow for all of us. And to get there, we're taking a fresh look at what's to come. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ford Motor Company President and CEO, Jim Hackett. Thank you, Bill. We're lucky to have you here at Ford because both of us come to work every day filled with great optimism. But today I'm particularly excited because this marks my first North American International Auto Show as CEO of Ford. Now, over the years, I've been coming here as an attendee, and always what was striking was that the eyes of the world were on the show waiting for the next breakthrough. That's why this is such a particularly exciting time. We all know that vehicles are changing rapidly. They're becoming infinitely smarter. As a result, the cars we all love 
Well, they're now poised to further transform our world. Cities are going to change in the future because of the vehicles we make. Cultures will evolve and shift. Businesses will grow and change. In fact, I've been wondering how long it will be until the auto show looks and feels a lot different when our intelligent vehicles tell their own stories and directly demonstrate what they can do. Well, that transformation is already starting. Last week at CES, we shared more about our vision to become the world's most trusted mobility company by designing smart vehicles for a smart world. We took you for a walk on this living street in the city of tomorrow to show you how communities can be energized and revitalized by the development of new ways to connect and move. I love where this is headed because this evolution is not about creating tech just for tech's sake. We're playing the game of what I've observed, which is feature creep, that has at time defined this industry. Now this is about driving big global change on the human scale of cars and trucks. Well, a century ago, Henry Ford's Model T opened the highways to all mankind, to everyone who wanted to broaden their horizons and change their world. And nearly all the important companies from that time, though, they faded away. They've been disrupted by technology and change. The Ford proudly remains. And there are two reasons for that. First, we obsessively design and interpret technology in a human-centered way to meet people's evolving needs. And the second reason we've been here so long is that it boils down to one word, which is passion. For me, I feel that passion every time I head home in my Mustang GT350. I have two dogs, Ozzy and Rudy, and Kathy tells me that they can hear the engine growl before I get into the driveway. When I'm uh, two blocks away. The energy and power of that car it expresses the passion that has always driven Ford Motor Company. It's a passion, though, in addition to build better lives, and that will never change here, which is why we're not going to cede that future to anyone. This passion doesn't just show up in our vehicles, we see it in our effort to develop artificial intelligence and this new transportation operating system that we talked about last week. Just two more ways we're improving lives for people that are customers of Ford Motor Company. At Ford, you can feel this exciting focus in the hallways. It's really palpable. In the factories and in our people, it's everywhere. That's why we wanted one of the team members who worked on our newest utility vehicle to help introduce it. We have dozens of engineers, designers, and technology leaders that offered to do the honors. And our challenge was to pick the one who could fit the moment on this stage, presenting here to all of you. So we did a little caper. We created a little test. Take a look. Hello, I'm Hal Chai Tang. Moragi Guntur. Hi, Diane. Hi. I'm Hal Tai Tang. Really? We're looking for people to help us tell the Edge ST story. You're auditioning to be a spokesperson. That would be awesome. But I want to make sure you can do it under pressure. We'll go for a little drive, but you tell me all about the Edge ST and I'll drive. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so start telling me about the Edge and why you should be on stage. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Very comfortable. I love a car that can go fast and handle well. You like going fast? I do. Oh, oh my gosh. Lane keeping aids. New XP transmission. Adaptive cruise control to stop it go. It's got great acceleration. Yeah, you're right. It accelerates really well. That's where we're going right now. Wow. It's actually the most impressive SUV I think that we've ever built. I want the power you have on your foot is amazing. Wow. You okay there? Were you reaching for the brake pedal? What's going on? With 335 horsepower. <laughs> wow. How are the grab handles? Are they work pretty well? They work pretty well for me to know. There's not much you can do to offset this car, is there? I feel like I'm in a vomit. No, don't do that. Um, they're having a lot of fun driving, but it's so smooth. <laughs> Evasive steering assist that will handle things. Would you say evasive steering? This car is crazy. Definitely never been in an SUV that's done that. Mind if I take it? 
take a turn once we're done here. <laughs> this, it, it, <laughs> this is better, yeah? Yeah. Okay, Charles, thank you. All right, good job. Thank you. Right. So how about I do? We'll see. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ford's Head of Product Development and Purchasing, Hao Tai Tang. The hottest segment gets even hotter with the new Edge ST. This is our most powerful SUV ever. It's also the most advanced and the first of a series on the way from the Ford Performance Group. <coughs> it's also part of an all new Edge lineup. Since it was introduced, Edge's success is driven by the way it connects with customers and how it makes them feel. ST, it's an exclamation mark on the Edge lineup. With a combination of head turning design, smart technology, and of course, even more fun and sporty performance. Positioned between Escape and Explore, Edge ST expands our always unstoppable SUV family. Now, to tell you more about Edge ST, I'd like to introduce you to the team member who was the best at handling our pressure test, just like a pro. She's been working on the Edge program for the past two years planning the thousands of tests that help our team improve every single feature on this new Edge product. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Edge team member, Diane Miller. Congratulations, Diane. Are you ready to do this? After writing with you, piece of cake. I have to admit, I'm a bit of a car snob, so curb appeal is really important to me. And I love the wow factor that our design engineers gave a new ST with a monochromatic paint, unique LED lighting, and a subtle but very distinctive ST badging. Plus, there's even more good stuff that you can't see. Ford Performance tuned the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine to deliver 335 horsepower. Then, they combine all of that power with a sport tuned suspension and paddle shifters, giving Edge that punch behind the wheel that drivers like Howe can really appreciate. Inside, you'll immediately notice the unique ST design cues on the scuff plates in the sport seats. Plus, our design team gave all edges a new interior. It's got a rotary shifter that helps free up space for things like storage and all new wireless charging. And drivers who hate unwanted road noise can really appreciate that our acoustic engineers made the interior so quiet. And for those that love their music, whether it's rap, rock, R&B, Whatever, we'll really appreciate the crisp and clear sound of the available B&O Play system. Now, not everyone can handle a vehicle on a track like how, but anyone can be a smarter, safer driver with the advanced driver assist features that Edge offers, including adaptive cruise control with lane centering to keep you in your lane and away from other vehicles. Evasive steering assist to help you avoid obstacles if you aren't really steering enough, and when you've had an accident, post-collision braking kicks in automatically to help you reduce the risk of a secondary collision. Add it all up, and this Edge is the smartest, most advanced SUV we have ever created. And I should know, because I have planned more than 3,000 tests to prove it. Well, what do you think, Al? Did we hit all the high points? Diane, thank you. I think you nailed it. Let's hear it again for Diane Miller. <laughs> improves on our winning formula, which continues attracting new, more affluent customers to the Ford brand. Next up, we have a legendary nameplate that's built for individuals who love having the freedom to go where they want, when they want. So, grab the Ranger devices that you found in your seat, because for the first time ever, you, we're going to let you choose how we reveal the all-new Ford Ranger. When prompted on the screen, you'll have four seconds select option A or B. Your choices will help direct the action in this film. Are you ready? Here we go.
ladies and gentlemen, meet the Ford Ranger. All new from North America and ready to help Ford take our rightful place in the mid-sized truck segment. Sure, other companies have been dabbling here, but we're jumping back into this mid-sized segment from a different vantage point. A vantage point of dominating American trucks since 1977, before we even knew who Luke Skywalker's father was. <laughs> Ranger's an icon with an emotional connection for millions, including me. Ranger was actually the first vehicle that I worked on when I came to Ford in the late 80s. And one of my favorite Ranger memories was working with the team on the Global Ranger in Australia several years ago. After our first drive of the prototypes, I knew then we had a world-class truck with great maneuverability and an ideal blend of capability and fuel economy. Since Ranger went on sale in 2011, it's become the best-selling mid-size pickup in Europe, South Africa, and New Zealand. And Ranger sales jumped from number, number five to number two globally, without even offering it in the world's largest truck market. And now, the time is right to bring it here, designed and engineered specifically for North American customers. Now, on the all-new Ranger, the first glance tells you it's built for tough. It has that athletic stance, available LED lighting, and a class-exclusive frame-mounted steel bumper, which is a big deal to truck fans. I want to be clear, real trucks don't have faces. What really matters is what you can't see, like a fully boxed, high-strength steel frame that enables best-in-class payload, excellent towing, and off-road durability that truck owners expect from Ford. Ranger's not only built for tough capable, it's adventure ready. With a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine that allows us to target best in class torque. <coughs> Ranger's FX4 off-road package delivers an off-road tuned suspension with enough ground clearance to clear those obstacles. A frame mounted skid plate and an elect electronic locking rear differential to improve traction. There's also innovative technology like our terrain management system and new trail control that's like cruise control for off-road driving. And if your adventures involve towing, Ranger has a blind spot information system with trailer coverage that monitors vehicles in blind spots, even on the side of the trailer. And no matter where your adventures take you, Sync Connect with Wi-Fi hotspot allows passengers to stay connected with up to 10 mobile devices. That's the all new Ranger. It's smart, it's capable, and it's the only mid-size pickup that's built for tough. Now, of course, you know how I feel about building vehicles for passionate enthusiasts. Those people who want cars to turn heads. To me, that's what transforms everyday drives into real adventures. And it's exactly what our next new car is all about.
marks the 50th anniversary of his iconic film, Bullet. It's crazy. You talk to people about great car chase movies, and it still remains the gold standard. Now, maybe I'm a little bit biased. I'm definitely a little bit biased. But I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that the passion that my grandfather brought to driving. We all know he loved cars. And truthfully, he could have picked any car in the world to be in that movie. But he chose the Mustang for two reasons. First, it was incredibly important to him to pick a car that the average American could afford, especially on a detective salary. And second, it's badass. I mean, it's kind of the best of both worlds, right? I love that he wanted the car to be accessible to a lot of people. He wanted to give them the opportunity in real life to capture the thrill that they saw on screen. That is why I am so excited and so honored to be here with all of you to unveil the all new Mustang Bullet. This car does something that really channels the spirit of my grandfather. So when I was younger, I remember coming across a script, one of the Bullet scripts, in a box in our house. And it had, he had all of his notes and his scribbles on it. And what really caught my eye is that he had crossed out line after line of his own dialogue. Now, as an actor myself, I can tell you that we don't typically, well, never really give ourselves less to say, but he was smart enough and he was confident enough to strip away everything that was unnecessary. And what was left was thrilling. The same is true of the 2019 bullet. It is a minimalist work of art that calls back the original 68. Debadged with unique 19 inch wheels, a faux gas cap, and a manual transmission with only a cue ball shift knob, just like my grandpa would have wanted. The engineers even gave the V8 a signature exhaust note. Oh, and while they were at it, they made it more powerful than a Mustang GT. It is fun, it's fast, and effortlessly cool. You know, I never got to meet my grandfather. Sadly, he passed away before I was born. But thanks to my mom and all of her stories, he's always been a part of my life. And I always like to think that he's looking down on us as he shifts on into the fourth. So, if you are looking down, Steve, we have a special treat for all of you that I know you will like. Miley. Hi. Hey, Sean Kiernan. Nice to meet oh, you. Nice to meet you. As you know, there were uh, two original movie cars. Mm -hmm. One was recently found in Mexico, that was a stunt car. Right. The other one um, was actually the one that your grandfather drove, which kind of ties in uh, with my family. When my dad passed away uh, in 2014, I actually worked on the car your grandfather drove in Bull. No way! Yeah. Oh, that's so cool! Do you want to grab that? I'll grab this. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> so it's all original. What is this? And that's actually a Warner Brothers sticker. Oh, yeah. The Seven Arch from 68. There's been about eight people since your grandfather that sat the car. This is so cool. On the right side of the tack, there's a couple little fun things with it. The guy that built it for Steve actually didn't have a red line on it. Uh, so the motor would fall to pieces if he hit a certain amount. So he wrote that on a piece of tape and stuck it on the tack. For two years, it was my mom's daily driver and she was a third grade school teacher. I'm gonna do this start. Start it? Yeah. Oh. She should be uh, she should be able to handle it. Bullet Mustang. That is so special. I mean, 
That's what Ford's all about. It's the people. It's the icons. A road trip in a convertible Mustang. A Raptor. An orange Escort Mexico. But can a battery electric vehicle stir the soul? Well, that's what we're all about at Ford. And now we plan to do even more of it by increasing our investment in electric vehicles to $11 billion. And using this technology to give people more of what they love about our most popular and iconic vehicles. Like enough capability to get the tools to the job site even more efficiently, and now to actually power the job site itself. Or keep it running on game day even during the blackout. This is the game of the century. It's the fourth quarter, and he's as fresh as a daisy. Thank you. 